Welcome back to another edition of Real Talk with Elliot. This is by far like my favorite piece of content to create because I get to interact with people and answer their real questions to help them live happier and better lives. And today's question comes from Tina Manning. And Tina asks, how do you implement sustainable self-care while working in the helping professions? So Tina, this is really important. I actually don't like the word self-care because self-care implies like it's something that you that you have to like do. It's like it's like going to see your chiropractor or your dentist. But actually self-care is something that has to happen consistently and continually. Like it's not just like a thing. Like we have this idea in our heads that as psychotherapists, as mental health professionals, as helping professionals, as service servants that we have to be um, like giving, 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 and that depletes us, and then we have to go replenish. Like we go to the Bahamas, we take a vacation, we replenish. But that's not how to do self-care. And I really liked the way you worded your question, like sustainable self-care. Sustainable self-care happens on a continuum. So for example, one of the things I do for self-care is I like to watch movies. So I watch movies almost every day. Uh, even if the movie is on while I'm writing, I also like to cook. I also like to play video games. Like you have to have these things a part of your life consistently. It's not like I'm gonna deprive myself of the thing I need and go give, 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 give in my work and then I'm going to replenish myself by doing the things that I enjoy. You should never lose contact with the things that you enjoy. Even if you have to do them just for a few minutes. Like if you like to read, just read for a few minutes. I like to play video games. Sometimes I literally will play video games for like 10 minutes or even less. I like to watch movies. It is very common that I'll be working as a movie is on and sometimes like between clients, so I just have 10 minutes and I'll have the movie on and then I'll press pause and I'll go back to doing my work and I might not pick that movie back up until the following day. But you should not lose contact with the things that you enjoy and the things that give you life, whatever those things are. I think to treat it as like self-care means I'm going to deprive myself until I can't handle it anymore and then I'm going to go indulge. And that's not how you should do it. You need to sustainably keep these things in your life. That's really the only way to continuously and sustainably have self-care as a part of your life. So Tina, I hope that helps. I wish there was another word other than self-care because when we, when we talk about it in that way, I don't think it's really, really helpful. So I hope that this gives you a new perspective on how to think about self-care and how to continuously keep it a part of your life. So Tina, thank you so much for your question. It's a super huge question. Whether or not people in the helping professions or not, I know it's important. We're living in a world where stressors are like out of this world. Like there are so many stressors going on and so many hard times going on. We need to know how to, um, how to be ourselves and how to have happiness and how to have joy. And by taking care of ourselves, by keeping the things we love in our lives is the number one way to do that. So Tina, hope that helps. And anybody else out there, if you want me to answer a question in a way that could make a difference in your life, just leave a comment below, contact me. You can send me a DM, you can send me an email, you can even send me a text message to 972-426-2640. I cannot wait to make a video for you.